Hello everyone, I'm Zebra and I'm happy to announce that I will be hiking in the Appalachian Trail in 2017. I'm leaving in a week and all of my stuff is ready to go. I should say that most of this gear is what I used on the Teararoa through hike last year. Uh, my base weight at that time was 6 kilos and 200 grams, which is like 13 pounds. It was a little bit heavy, so I decided to get a little bit lighter. And now my winter setup is is close to 6 kilos, so 12 pounds, and my summer is just over 5 kilos, so 10 and maybe a half of pound. Not too bad, still not ultralight. <laughs> So let's start with the backpack. It's the Zinfax Art Blast 60 liters. They no longer make the 60 liters, but I was really happy about the 60 liters. I could always fit all of my food inside. Uh, it was very comfortable and and I really liked it. So I when when it started to get a little bit destroyed, I. Uh, after the tray I asked Zipax to repair it and they repaired it because there w were some places that the Cuban fiber was just ripping off so it's now all over stitched and patched and yeah but it still works I hope it's going to be fine also the, the straps were replaced for a new version yeah so that's backpack uh, I can pose. Uh, I have two. <laughs> the, the other one is there with my camera. Yeah, they are a little bit heavy, but it, I don't think it matters. The hiking for can be heavy. Uh, it's the Lucky Cork Light hiking pole with the rubber tips, which I always use on the road walks. Yes, yeah, so. Uh, the tent is the MLD Solo. Um, Solomid XL. I'm by no means XL. I'm a short woman, but I really like the, the space it gives and it's really stable in the winds. It, it can survive pretty bad weather. I was very happy with it. It's just not the lightest tent ever. It's 700 grams, but still quite light. <laughs> very light. Uh, I use uh, takes from another tent because I really like the the V shape stakes and I also have a piece of a polycryo cut to the size of my mattress and my mattress I'm using the classic Thermarest newer woman's uh, it's I have as I've had it for four years now it's like molded everywhere outside and inside pretty really gross uh, but I never really thought about cleaning it. <laughs> it can be like this. Just I think it's pretty heavy with the mold. Uh, yeah, and then I, uh, there is also my luxury item, which is my pillow. The uh, Thermos newer seat. It actually serves also like a seat, but I most of the time use it just as a pillow. And the sleeping bag. There are two sleeping bags. One is, is the one I'm starting with, the winter sleeping bag, and on the bottom there is a summer one that I'm going to switch after I think a month or something. Uh, yeah, they are both down sleeping bags. Both of them are custom made by uh, Robert's company. It's, it's a Polish company. I'm from Poland. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so they are quite special because there are a lot of baffles in them, so the down doesn't move around and, and it, they always stay warm. There is no hood on both of them. They, they have attachment for the mattress, so I can move inside of them and they don't move around the mattress, which is really nice. And the winter one has a separate hood that I can just send away if I don't need it, but sometimes I really need it. It's so nice to, to to have the warm food around your head, especially in the shelters because in the tent it, it's not so bad with the wind. But yeah, I think I will use it. And then 
let's move to the kitchen stuff. I'm using a gas stove, the MSR Micro Rockets. I could go lighter, but I really like the stove. I've had it for a long time and it just works fine for me. And the big lighter, of course. A small gas canister and the ever new 900 milliliter pot. Yeah, I really like it. I usually just boil water in it, but I can also cook and it's no, no issues with it. The bigger gas canister fits inside. Yeah. And my other luxury item is, is my Nalvin water bottle. <laughs> I really like it for making tea and just drying my socks on it. Uh, and I can take it in my sleeping bag and just hold it warm. Yes, yeah, so there's water in it. <laughs> I rip, it's a uh, it's a point seven liters bottle, which I had with another lid, but I replaced it with the classic one, which is just lighter, and it's not leaking like the other one. Uh, there is also a titanium spool, and just this plastic trash bag. The Z-Pax food bag is on the bottom, and there's a piece of rope and the old Cuban fiber stuff, stuff stuck, which is just useless now. <laughs> it's destroyed, but I think it's fine for the rock and the bear bagging kit. So uh, and the sleeping bags go in the waterproof dry bags. One is 8 liters for the summer bag and 12 liters for the winter bag. And uh, now Let's move to the clothing, uh, especially maybe with the shoes. I'm wearing the Ultra uh, Long Peaks 2.5s. I, I really like the shoes. I walked the whole South Island of New Zealand in one, one pair of 2.5s. Uh, they were drying so quickly, so comfortable, so wide and nice. Just I couldn't live without it. And I also tried the the 3.0s but they were really horrible there's something wrong with them they are they are some so much different for, from the 2.5s so i was just trying to find them all over europe and i found repairs so they should last me to the end of the appalachian trail yeah i am starting with camp shoes with sandals which i got from the company Monk Sandals, it's also a Polish company. They are very nice and light. I don't think I really need them for the whole time. I will probably send them away at some point, but yeah, for the colder, colder months, I think I will enjoy them. And of course, they're the trail gaiters. And for socks, I'm using the smart wool socks and ankle length, and then I'm uh, using them with the Injinji toe socks as liners. And I'm just using one pair of socks, like two pairs, but at once. I don't have a spare pair for walking, it's, I don't need it. And then my my knee braces, yeah, I, I have to wear them all the time. I Every time I go for a walk, I need them, so there's a new pair of them. And I'm using gloves with my hiking bows because I get blisters every time if I don't wear them. So, bike gloves. Also have some gloves, like a thin fleece gloves for winter that I will send away and the merino wool hat and a visor for for the sun yeah I, I it was a hat but I cut it around so so it's a visor I I have like a lot of hair so I don't don't really like the full hat um, yeah for other camp stuff I have the down jacket. It's also custom made by Roberts like my sleeping bags. 
uh, it's the what's special about it is that it's the the baffles they are not stitched through like most of the down jackets have they they have baffles like little baffles like sleeping bags so the wind is not coming through and it's really really warm and for other clothes I have mm, it's such a mess I have for winter I have a warm base layer which is a power stretch Arcteryx base layer it's it's like a fleece inside and it's smooth on the outside it's really nice and warm and then when when it starts to be warmer I'm going to switch for the um, power dry fabric it's it's lighter and and I think it should be should be fine throughout the summer I've got these two things from the Quark company, which is another Polish company. And I also have sleeping socks, some smart wool fleece hiking, fleece, like a wool fleece, I guess, uh, hiking socks, ankle length, work just fine. What I will be wearing throughout the day is uh, shorts, Arcteryx shorts and icebreaker t-shirt. It's not 100% merino, it's mixed with cellulose, they call it cool light and I really liked it in New Zealand when it was so damp and hot and all this, it was, I was just too hot in the 100% merino so I'm going to stick with this. And then in winter I'm going to use also a wind jacket, also made for me by Roberts. It's like a very very light wind jacket, 56 grams, so I'm really happy with it. Uh, yeah, I really like wind jackets, it's, it makes such a difference when it's windy and you, know, you can just put it on instead of putting on another fleece or something. Yeah, so I will probably send it away when it gets warmer. Also my my rain stuff is different for winter and different from for summer so there is a jacket which I'm going to use for the whole trail. It's a Montana rain jacket. It's similar to the Outdoor Research Helium 2 is, but the, the hood is a little bit different. I like this one more so I got this one. I'm so happy about the color. And the rain pants are for winter. Uh, they are like the lightest I've I could find, 80 grams. They are Spanish, made by a Spanish company, ah, uh, Astucas, and they they their name is Ah pants. So yeah, it's like a Cuban fiber, but without the really the, the outside so I hope they will survive <laughs> and I have some rain mitts that I made myself from just a still nylon and I, I still seamed made the seam ceiling yeah I don't know how long they are going to survive I hope like a month <laughs> or maybe more and then for summer, I have a rain skirt that I also made myself. It's a little bit longer because I wanted to cover also my knee braces because when they get wet, they, my my skin is like gets like rush and it's really uncomfortable to have them wet. So I made it a little bit longer. Uh, and yeah, and there's a sports bra and, and two pairs of underwear. Also, like the same fabric as my t-shirt. Yeah. Mm, then, let's move to the small stuff. Mm, my documents, little passport and my diary because I like to keep a diary. And then there is just uh, insurance and pencil and pen and it's all in the Ziploc bag. And there is my wallet, bags, wallet. It really looks like it's made for dollars, but it also can hold euros and other things. Yeah, it's, it's fine. And then I have my small 
first aid kit is like 80 something grams just basic stuff some band-aids and uh, magnesium pills stuff like this no ibuprofen <laughs> because I, I don't I just don't want to use it so I don't have it there is a mm, small Victorinox knife and uh, Pets Elite headlamp and there is a golf ball because I have these knee problems and I, my physiotherapist suggested I would take a golf ball for for messaging and it really wor worked well with my IT band syndrome and I, I'm just going to take it to for the Appalachian Trail too. And then there is my phone. It's uh, Sony Xperia XA dual SIM because I need dual SIM for the European SIM card and the US SIM card so that's why it's dual SIM. And then there are my electronics in the Zipex tablet zip pouch I think, yeah. And just some, yeah, like cables and charger and um, SD cards, stuff like this. And for a power bank, I, I have just a simple like a charger, and then I have two batteries, so I can have one, and I can have both of them with me. I I own four, but I think two are enough. So that's for charging. And then I have my camera, which is there, and there's a Zipex pouch for the camera and my cosmetics they are a little bit heavy a little bit over to 200 grams there is a small linen towel linen is so much better than the plastic you usually have it doesn't smell it just destroys a little bit quicker that's the downside yeah so yeah a little bit of shampoo deodorant because I like it chopstick come because I have long hair and <laughs> need to take care of it and a special German toothpaste which is, which is a concentrate and this little tube lasts for one and a half months uh, it's really great for the outdoor stuff and then I have cotton tissues and I have a little bit of toilet paper yeah and I think that's everything yeah so the, maybe I will get rid of something more than I planned. We'll see. Yeah. So starting next week. See you there. <laughs> Bye. Oh, and there is some stuff I'm going to have in my bounce box. Spare shoes, another t-shirt to switch to, and socks. Some small stuff like batteries, and pills and band-aids and the tape for just packaging the mouse box and two other journals. Uh, I have a head net but I, I'm not sure I would need it but just in case. And I do have a water filter, the Sawyer Mini that is just fine for me because I'm very rarely filtering and I don't think I will need it but if I need it it's there. And some just some cosmetics so I kind of fill up my shampoo and switch for another two space and stuff like this. So that's now really everything. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.